Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot from viewers, and they're asking, what do I exactly eat in a day? Well, some of you may know that I've recently, with my husband and our dog, Daisy, started living in an RV full time. So things have shifted a little bit, but not significantly. I think we have to go into it with an open mind and understand things might need to alter depending on the environment that we are, the the tools that we have available and things. So um, for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Dr. Lori Marbus. I am a board certified family and lifestyle medicine physician who sees patients across the country as I'm licensed in all 50 states and DC. Um, if you'd like to learn more about myself or the Healing Kitchen, which I run with Brittany Drudy, you can check out drmarbus.com. And please don't forget to subscribe and click the little alert button and share this video with someone who you think might also find it beneficial. And please comment. Um, all of those things help build the channel. And I so appreciate understanding and knowing what you guys would like to learn more about. So I have a few of the items here. So I'm going to start with fruit. Um, one thing that I will tell a funny story was Blueberries have been my favorite food. I probably would say if I had to have a last meal, it would just be blueberries. Um, so we have packets of blueberries. And when my kids were still at home, my boys, especially the middle one, Jonathan, would love to consume blueberries. And I literally had to put my name on one pack and say, do not touch. These are mom's blueberries. I will hunt you down, Jonathan. <laughs> so otherwise, he literally would eat no kidding, a large pack in one setting. And I'd be like, where's my blueberries? And it was like a good 20 minutes drive to the store. Um, so blueberries, we have a 10 cubic foot freezer uh, fridge. So the refrigerator is separate from the freezer. I was amazed, honestly, at how much I could fit in this little space. Um, next are some stone fruits. So these are going to be probably seasonal, depending on where we are. Um, there is a little farm stand I haven't been able to go to yet because it's open when I'm seeing patients. But uh, today I was at Whole Foods and I found some plums. And what was really funny was, you know, this kind of reminds me is if you think about plums um, or anything in life, it may look so appealing and beautiful and um, this looks scrumptious, be it an event or a food. And then you bite down it and it maybe it's sour and it wasn't quite what you expected. Um, but all you can say is, you know, I've, I'm still going to enjoy this fruit. Not quite what I expected, but I still know it's going to benefit me. And so this happened to my husband earlier. He took a bite of one of the plums and it was a bit sour. I had one that was quite sweet. So plums right now, we'll probably, we'll be heading towards Western Colorado where we used to live here in about 10 days, well, a week, I guess. And, um, we'll pick up some Palisade peaches because after August 1st, this, these are the delicious peaches of Colorado. And honestly, you will become a peach snob if you ever get the chance to consume Palisade peaches. And so maybe I'll share some with you when we get there. Um, we're only going to stay a night on our way back to California, but, and bananas. So as the bananas, of course, ripen, um, we'll put them in the freezer and we store them for, you know, things that we throw in the Vitamix. The Vitamix was the one tool that I said, if this RV can't handle the Vitamix. I'm not getting the RV. Go Vitamix. <laughs> I should be a spokesperson, right? Next are, I'm going to move over to kind of the beans situation. I just took out a few. Um, so I've been always, I grew up eating all sorts of beans. My mom used to pressure cook them. Uh, pinto beans, black beans, kidney beans, 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 beans. I never, I don't recall a day or definitely not more than a few days that we didn't have beans on our plate. Um, so I love the, you know, the Bush brand is quite tasty, any organic, the tri beans, you know, it's kind of like seasonings. I'll pick up what I have in my little counter here is cumin, chili powder. I have some cinnamon. I have some mixed like curry powder and garam masala. We love Indian type flavor foods. So we have um, some chickpeas. We have some black beans in there, just a few cans, because again, we're limited on space. And what I do, what do I do with those beans? Um, because it's a, you know, like I think I got up to 99 today. Our little air conditioner, by the way, if you hear some blowing, that's what that is. I'm just not willing to turn it off, guys. Otherwise, I'll be 
by glistening. Um, so what I do with the beans is a, a variety of things. Um, let me go over the grains with you real quick that I have here, and then I'll explain what I do. Um, so here I have these because, again, we're in the RV, and I don't want to turn on the oven or the stove because it's hot. I have a microwave, so that's what we're using. I'm okay with using microwaves. If y'all don't want to use a microwave, don't don't feel like you have to. And you don't need to leave a rude comment about microwaves. You do you. I'm doing me. Okay. So here we go. These are the cilantro jasmine lime. There is a little bit of oil in these, but that's just more of this so it doesn't stick. These are fine. You heat them up for a minute. This is great. One serving. I put that in a bowl and then I'll put some type of either veggies. I've got greens in the veggies. I got some broccoli slaw. I've got um, cabbage slaw in there that also goes in my smoothie, but you can do this. But most of the time what we're doing is we're doing a grain. Um, and I also like the seeds of change. They also have a really nice one that you just heat up in the package and it's quite tasty. You can get these at Costco, Walmart, different places. They're very affordable. And um, so what we'll do is we'll, maybe we have some chickpeas and um, some grain here and I'll make you know, a bowl of some sort we could sprinkle on, but these are flavored rice. So honestly, many times we just will sprinkle on some of the the beans and heat that up and eat that. Um, I'm a big fan of wraps, so I'll find the, try to find the healthiest like tortilla that I can. I'll take these tricolor beans and I will mix, you know, pull out of some, put in a little chili powder, cumin, maybe paprika, mix that up with the, the rice. Whatever, you know, we have some salsa, I have some pico, I have some guac in here. And then just make up a wrap. Honestly, that's quite filling. In addition to that, at Whole Foods, what's as nice, in their refrigerated section, they often will have vegan soups. Um, depending on what's in them, I may or may not get them. But I found a, a carrot ginger soup today. And so I had that, and I heated it up, and I had some leftover chickpeas in the fridge. I poured that in there, and that was quite delicious. So that's what I had for lunch. I just heated it up for a few minutes, and I'm good to go. Um, if I don't... I always eat smoothies for breakfast, but sometimes I want like breakfast for lunch or I'm just like not super hungry in the evening. This is where my muesli friend comes in, muesli. Um, muesli is amazing. This bread, Bob's Red Mill especially. He died recently too, by the way, do you know that? But anyway, Bob's Red Mill muesli, and there's a few things I like to do with that. I can just eat it raw, you can cook it. Um, but I typically eat it raw. I just put it in a bowl. I'll throw in some blueberries, bananas, and some soy, unsweetened soy milk. So I do have unsweetened soy milk in here as well. Um, but you can also take, I just bought some today, some, because my other one didn't, it, I opened it, was moldy. But I have some unsweetened Kite Hill almond yogurt. You can actually, and I have some applesauce in those little containers. So you can take the yogurt, like a little however much you want, half a cup or a quarter cup, whatever, mix it with some of the applesauce to sweeten it. You mix this in it. Um, I don't know, I think it's like a quarter cup or something. You could also do like grated apples, grated pears, anything you want to sweeten the yogurt with the um, muesli. You literally put that in the fridge overnight and then in the morning you have a delicious breakfast and you can throw in some of the uh, bananas and the blueberries. Maybe have some strawberries. In the frozen section up here, I have um, mixed frozen berries. I usually get at least pineapple, uh, dark uh, sweet cherries, and blueberries. Did I say that? Oh, pineapple, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, though, it's from at the store. What they had was they had some mango, strawberries, some triberry, like the, you know, the, the, I think it's raspberry, strawberry, and blueberry mix. Um, they didn't have any cherries. And they didn't have, I think I ran out of pineapple. So I bought some fresh pineapple that already cut. Yes, I'm paying a little bit more. But, you know, I'd rather pay a little bit more for the convenience time factor and the mess. And we're in a small space and counter space is precious. And so that's the choices that I've made. This is what we're eating right now. This might change as we get closer to California and we have more seasonal fruits and veggies available to us. So I think um, that really... Hones in. So we do a lot of bowls with the rice. Uh, there's some quinoa in there as well that's pre-made from like the seeds of change. Like I said, I always have beans, a grain, fruit, my veggies. Yeah. And then you can buy some pre-made soups like a Whole Foods, throw in some extra beans. Oh, and we also have sweet potatoes. Um, we can 
the little potato setting on the microwave is quite phenomenal. It's working well. And um, yeah, so what else do I have in there? I think that's everything. I would have read out more, but again, I have limited little space here. And so I hope that's helpful. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. It's kind of boring, I guess. So, But that's honestly the simpler, the better. I'm really trying to simplify my life, and that includes my diet. And as long as I'm making healthy choices, which will fuel um, our bodies to do what we want. Like today, we went on a, a five-mile hike up to northern Colorado. It was lovely. It got hot really quick there at the end and panting a little bit. Um, but it was absolutely gorgeous and we had a lovely time and Daisy was having a blast. We, she saw horses for the first time and was like very excited to sniff after they passed. She loves sniffing. So anyway, that's what I eat in a day right now, guys, is that changes. Maybe I'll do an update, but not super, super exciting. I'm not a gourmet chef, never have been, but I can make food taste pretty tasty where it's not like, why am I eating this? But I don't need fancy to be okay. I don't wear fancy clothes. I don't eat fancy food. I, I, I'm just pretty, just a simple human. So there you go. I hope you found that helpful. And, um, I do want to say thank you as always for being here. I'm going to be working on a few other things. People are asking about, uh, estrogen physiology and some other stuff. So I'll be taking me a little bit of time to build that out and make it a really nice presentation for you guys. So I'll be working on that. So again, thanks everyone for spending time with me today. As usual, I'm so grateful for you being here and sending you joy, love, and peace and healing. Um, so much healing. So, so many of us need more of that in our lives today. So thanks, everyone. I hope you have a good rest of your day and a blessed, blessed weekend.